This course examines the transformation of living standards over the last 300 years. It concentrates on the British experience since the Industrial Revolution, but places that experience in comparative perspective where appropriate. The topics covered include changes in real incomes, the size distribution of income, um, the measurement of poverty and its causes, and various aspects of the biological standard of living, including changes in food consumption and nutrition, and changes in stature and health. But the object is also to think about how these factors affected the everyday experience of people living in Britain, and the way in which the state gradually evolved to pursue a policy which attempted to ameliorate the living standards of those it considered to be in dire need. So every economic historian should know about the debate about living standards during the Industrial Revolution. It's been one of the most long-standing and controversial debates within the discipline. Understanding the reasons why historians and social scientists disagree about measuring living standards in the past is a fascinating topic in its own right, and it also helps explain how knowledge itself is created and subsequently used, and why the progress of living standards during the Industrial Revolution is often seen as a judgment about capitalism itself. The first United Nations Millennium Development Goal is the eradication of hunger and poverty. Most would agree that in Western countries this occurred sometime during the 20th century. Yet recent evidence on rising inequality between rich and poor, on increased proportions of people in pov poverty who are working, and evidence of real destitution amongst a small subset of the population, su suggests that the understanding the historical dimensions to these aspects of living standards are also important for understanding the current world we live in.